Hello, my name is Terry Harrison. I'm going to show you how to paint an Irish landscape. This particular view is of Keen Bay on the island of Ackill on the west coast of Ireland. Right, I've drawn up the, uh, the scene first with, uh, with pencil and I've applied some masking fluid on the breaking waves and on the end of the cottage in the foreground. We're going to start with the sky, use the large detail brush and I'm going to wet the sky area with some clean water. So paint up to the headland and I'm actually going to paint over that far distance headland there so I don't get any white bits around the edges. Some raw sienna So just wash that in first, wash the brush out, then some ultramarine, not too strong, and just paint in some blue going up into the corner of the, the painting, leave some light areas for the clouds. and just drift that off the edge of the painting. Then allow that to dry. So when the sky is dry, use the color shadow and fairly pale and paint in the distant headland like that. Run that straight across So that's just one colour. Then wash the brush out, pick up some raw sienna, and before this dries, you drop in a touch of raw sienna into the side of the hill. And that colour will run down and push the other colour out of the way. So you get this sunlit part of the hill with the raw sienna. While this is drying, we then move on to the middle distance headland and we're going to start with the large detail brush. And I'm going to wet the top of the cliffs with some clean water. Right up to the top of the painting. And while that's wet, we start off with a little touch of shadow. Bring that down to the top of the cliff. Then some raw sienna. Then a touch of burnt sienna, just to add a little bit more colour. It comes down to the top of the cliffs, back to some shadow colour with some burnt sienna, so it's a little bit darker. So this is fairly pale here, then becomes a little bit darker as it becomes closer to you. So burnt sienna, this time I'm going to introduce a touch of green, country olive. Just run that into the wet, comes around, out onto this little top of the cliff here. So fill that in. Country olive and burnt umber. So it's a shade darker. You just put that into there. Just let that run down into the first colour. Drift some of that green into the, the first wash. And we'll let that dry off. The next stage is the cliffs 
underneath the headland. We start with a large detail brush and some raw sienna. So you put an undercoat on first. So it's just a wash. Like that. Not too wet. So just paint that in first. Then some cobalt blue and some burnt sienna. So it's not too dark. And you put that darker color over the top of the raw sienna. Do this quite quickly because this has to be wet when you take off the paint with the credit card. Then plastic card and just pull the card down and you're scraping the paint off the surface of the paper. So it comes down to this masked area. Just pull the card down. So, plenty of texture using the texture of the paper. The paper is Bockingford Extra Rough. Like that, just straighten up the base of the cliffs. Move on to the next cliff. So this time a little bit stronger in colour. So raw sienna. This time ultramarine and burnt umber. Then again with the credit card, just scrape down. How simple is that? The next part of the painting is the foreground. I'm going to use the large brush, wet the area first. Like so there's a large rock formation here and it comes down to the stream in the foreground. Into the wet we'll start with, let's move on to the large detail brush, some burnt sienna and raw sienna. Bring that down. So not too strong. Country olive with some burnt sienna. And that can come through here, just in front of the beach. Then a darker green. So this is um, country olive with a touch of burnt umber. And drop that into the wet. Some more burnt umber. It comes down to the water. Country olive. Just to darken that just a shade on the water's edge. Bring that down to the stream. So this bit's going to be fairly light. Just 
put a touch of colour into that. Sunlit green with some raw sienna. Country olive. So quite a strong colour here in the foreground. paint the the other bank of the stream with some green so it's country olive and a touch of burnt umber so it's fairly dark into the corner Darken this up just a shade so it comes down into the little dip where the stream is. Then we just let this dry off. 